Hi guys, can you guys hear me? Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, boys, yeah, boys. No new applications today. Feels bad, man. We just don't get applications anymore. Let me see here. Purpose. Holy shit, people are getting themselves stacked on purpose, it seems. Yeah, a lot of people are getting purpose. That's crazy. Surprisingly so. Well, it's good. It's good people are doing it. It's good people are doing it. Sell some sweet ass purpose uh, before, you know, before it's too fucking late. Huh? Yeah, I know the gas price is insane. What's the gas price at right now? It's like 40 bucks, 20 bucks or something. Never been at the after party. In the after party, we make people rich. It's the secret place. It's like the Illuminati where the elites make more money from the plebs, you know? Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta get for like 501k, yeah, else it's too it's it's not worth it. Oh, yeah. Wussi is still planning to get purpose, by the way. And how much? How much are you guys planning to get? I'm just checking here how much you guys still have to get. 3,000 purpose or 3,000 bucks? 3,000 purpose. You gotta hurry up, my man. You guys gotta hurry up. Purpose is 3.2 right now. It's gonna be 3.4 uh, if we ding. It goes up all the time. Huh? You will, I will buy 50k, 50k what? Cole, are you the DK from the US? I remember a DK in the US called Cole. I am not from the US. I see. Man. I'm surprised, actually. I wonder if people are a uh, GME. <laughs> That's funny. Man, certain people lost like 20, 30, 40 million just for the, because they were holding for the memes. It's just absolutely bananas. Just for some uh, EP on Reddit. Are people even selling purpose at this point? Let me actually have a look. Twitch. I mean, like, uh, DBX, right? Are people undercutting right now? No, nobody's undercutting. Nobody's undercutting. So people only buy from sell wall? No, people undercutting also get bought from. You can choose. Huh? Yeah, there's actually DBX. Let me actually see. There is quite some volume, right, on DBX. Yeah, seven Ether almost, which is, what's the price of Ether? $1,600, that's seven, thank you. Holy shit, $1,600 for one Ether, that's insane. That went up like crazy. No, you can take your you can take your shot, but like uh, and NECA things go very fast. Huh? 
could really drop from 1,600 to 1,200 overnight. You wake up and you go like cry mode. It's really like a very, very volatile. No, it never goes from 1,600 to 3,000. What are you saying? From 1,600 to 3K? No fucking way, man. What are you saying? That is really... Do you know the amount of volume you need for it to go from 1,600 to 3K? Yeah. We'll see how it goes. But you never know with these these things, it's like it fluctuates so badly. It's ridiculous. I see another crypto crash though. I see another one. For real. Yeah, it's just a matter of when and it will pop like crazy. Yeah. It's going to be a, a serious crash. Also, what you have with the GME, I think a lot of people go to crypto for a little while. <clears throat> Game is making good progress, by the way, just so you guys know. Yeah, the price of Ether doesn't matter. If you buy Ether and then you, 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 you get purpose, it doesn't matter. What is being worked on the most on the game? It's just fixing bugs. And it's going quick. It's going. It's, we're getting there. We're getting there. The motivation is really high in the compound because people are running out. My locked purpose dashboard on DBX isn't loading. It should work normally. It is really true. People here are working their ass off so you guys can make a lot of money. It's fucking ridiculous, but it's true. That sweet, sweet purpose. They are the ones that are going to make it go to the moon, you know, working their ass off. Yeah. Oh, they'll make, they'll make also a lot. How can I download? Here's the link. Man, if I was if I was one of you guys, what I would do is I would download the game. I would try it out. I would do a little bit of market research, check out AFK Arena, Idle Heroes, compare it, and just go fucking balls deep purpose, man. Because it's really like, it's... Yeah. It's 
it's just going to go cray cray. Man, it's so fucking weird. Certain people that are just random checked my stream while I was playing WoW, got into purpose, game comes out, purpose goes to the moon. They're just chilling, gajilling. And if it wasn't for me streaming WoW, getting rank one and all that shit, life would be different. Life is so RNG for people, to be honest. It's really so RNG. Why bother with your game and just go straight to CoinSpot or Coinbase? Do your research and buy into the cryptocurrencies that will go somewhere. Your game is useless. Morphine, my game is useless. Do you actually even have a clue what you're talking about? I guess you don't have any clue. That stupid shitty game is gonna make fucking billions. You're the kind of guy that tries out AFK Arena and says this game is trash, and then you look at the the re revenue, 1.5 billion, and you go like, yeah, still, it's still trash. Yeah. I made a game that is really universally going to be really good. Today, people ask if Reese has to actually pay taxes on the purpose sales. The way it works in Germany is if you hold per, uh, if you hold crypto for a year, don't have to pay taxes. It's quite crazy the size of your team and most of them didn't know shit before development time doesn't sound so long with all of that yeah it's crazy what we achieved locking is holding it's the same thing all the purpose he sells is basically tax-free I don't know how it exactly works with uh, with with Ether. You can play my game for free, yeah. Here's the link. You can play it for free. But our game is really nice. It's very optimized, streamlined, all slick. It's really nice. Yeah, don't worry about that, man. We have fucking we take ser we take uh, legality insanely serious. We will, after the game comes out, we will fix, we will patch it up and then we work on the productivity. Yeah, people aren't here just for the, for the lulz, you know, they, they want to take shit serious. Can I suggest optimizing for the casino section of the game? It will increase dopamine and shit ton. What do you want to optimize in the casino? Well, Ronda, if you want to know if you should get purpose or not, checking it out makes you able to see if we're legit or not. Huh? making a game like that it's fucking insane it's a lot it's a lot of work
Yeah, you can wait for the game. It's fine. Just don't wait with purpose, that's all. If you had to bet what would happen first, purpose to t 2000 or either 200k? Oh man, that's a hard one. I Because a thousand is really a lot. I would still say purpose a thousand, I think. Because either 200k, that's literally no fucking way, man. The casino has no near miss feature in e putting the big biggest reward and having the wheel tick just past it we have that in the church and we also have that in the community you have that everywhere actually ethereum will never hit 100k um It might hit 100k, but man, I, I don't know how long, long that's going to take. Is it difficult in the campaign scaled and such so the player is never stuck for too long or is it the game same for everyone? You got to try it out, but the, the, the progress is really nice. What's your prediction on how purpose, high purpose will go at the end of the year? One year after the game is out. Did I say between 20, 30 and 100 bucks or something like that? No, not, I don't think 20, I think 30. I think it's going to be 30, 30, 30. It might also be more than 100. Right now it's 3.2, but it goes up exponentially, yeah? Man, people that got purpose initially, you guys, yeah, it's basically GG. Hundred, that's one billion US dollars sell wall sell sales, but that's nothing. By the way, RN one, one billion is nothing. The moment uh, the crypto scene gets a hang of it, it's gonna go bananas. It's gonna go very fast. I guarantee you this shit. It's going to go insanely fast. Is a system where you don't have to pay taxes on risk crypto sales active yet? I looked at the roadmap yesterday and it really goes to shit with even 20% taxes. Is RIS operating tax free yet? I don't get it. Like the way crypto works in Germany is if you hold crypto, you don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, in Germany, crypto is fucking it, like many people move to Germany because crypto loss is so fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed, Kadenka. Reese has hold crypto even longer than a year. Three years or something. Mm. 
We have several companies in, in several countries. In Poland, in Bulgaria, in France, in Germany, in Georgia. It's like uh, when, because we're planning on doing stuff international. Eh? Like, Reese used to have one in Belize, but he closed that one. Yeah, Reese is just doing money -ish stuff all the time. Yeah. But it's good, like all the money that we can get right before before launch. It's just extra it's it's just good for ads. Yeah, because I want to push the game quite a bit. Well, maybe not immediately, but still. Yeah. Let me see here. Isn't there a huge loophole in Germany? Take payments in crypto hold for a year, never pay taxes. Well, yeah, that works. Cold, that works perfectly. Reese did some research. He also checked with lawyers because even with the Dubi, it's fine. It's all fine. You can make money with the game, yeah. You can make a lot of money with the game. Like the Zuki, there is some definition with interest. I think Dubi does not count as interest. because it's a different token, something like that. Reese, Reese did a lot of fucking research. Well, not just research, he also checked with lawyers. But yeah.
game is gonna come out soon. I can't, I can't wait, man, for the game to be out. Are you guys looking forward to the game or you don't care so much? Maybe people don't care so much. Are you looking for purpose to go to the moon or are you guys looking forward to actually play the game? What is it? You guys just want to get rich. It's actually going to be... You guys saw him when, when I played, like, I'm building a really nice network in the, thing, uh, in the WoW community, yeah? I really think once I start, the game comes out, there's quite some streamers that are going to try it out and wouldn't have tried it out if I wouldn't have come back to WoW. You'll be able to make money with the game. Do you have to be strategic with exporting level one, uh, one star uh, good skins of uh, popular streamers? That's, that's, that's the play you should do. That's really the play. You can make a lot of cash with the game. Get Asmongol to upload a season one skin. If some streamers try it out, like maybe, maybe, maybe the, 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 the documentary will get people to try it out. Maybe. But the thing is like, Hugo, you say you won't spend money, right? Let me tell you something, right, about that. First of all, you don't have to spend money. But like getting, like getting ahead in the game with spending a bit of purpose can actually be insanely plus EV because, but yeah, it depends, of course. If you, like the more progress you have in the game, the cheaper you can export heroes to the blockchain. And now these blockchain heroes is, are like crypto kitties. So if you spend a bit, you know, then uh, you can literally save quite a bit. If I spend a million dollars, will I instantly be number one in the game? If you spend one million, well, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe. Someone that spends, yeah, probably, yeah, one million, yeah, you'll be number one. Yeah, you would be VIP 14 and number one. But you're talking about spending a million. If you spay, say spend 10K, then that's a different story. A million, it's a diff like, what the fuck? By the way, if people get rich as fuck with purpose and will still want to work, do good in your organization stuff, but would want to live on their own, would that be fine? Well, yeah, but when it comes down to remote, remote work, it's really hard. Well, you, by the way, monkey, that's not true. Like you can actually spend because in, in the, in, uh, on gaming for good, you can buy insane packs, right? You can buy all subscription packs and you can buy all the deals. And these two, if you buy them both, that's like 600 K. I think, and then you're instantly VIP 14, I think, maybe not instantly, or maybe you are. If you spend 700K on Game for Good, you're instantly VIP 14. But man, holy shit. I know people will do it, by the way. You might wonder, say like, nah, man, people will do it. People will really go spend 700K and uh, stream it and people yeah if the game is popular and people will do it no an ascendance ship you 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 get a big boost but like yeah you will get level i think 100 or something instant but uh that's not vip 14 yet
The Ascendance chip animation leaked in the beta. Did it? Did anyone see it? Holy shit, feels bad, man. Can I see that? That was normally only for a launch. Already leaked. Who got so many? I don't see it though. It's not on YouTube. How did they get the chip? Oh, you guys keep it secret. That's nice. Yeah, Ascendant Spin is fucking crazy. You guys like it? How much loot you get? <laughs> Will I still get VIP3 for my $100 donation? You will get, uh, you will basically get, you will get, uh, what is it called? Vouchers for 130 bucks. And with 130 bucks, you can get VIP3 if you, if you spend it smartly don't spend it smartly then it's not but like with the sale points huh? you will have enough sale points to then get another hundred dollars and with 230 you get easily vip vip3 yeah Man, this game is so crazy. How did he get it? Yeah. Yeah, people will see and the ascendance spin. Ah, I see. Do you think purpose and do we will work with some other projects? Yeah, 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 yeah. We will use all all purpose and do we for all our projects. What is the solution to the gas fee when people want to buy, say, $10 purpose? Is there any video that explains it? There is no solution right now. The gas problem is just ridiculous. But we will sort it out. We will sort it out. People will buy purpose to buy in-game loot. No, because if you if you if you spend for a lot, then it's still worth it. Because the thing is, like what a lot of people don't understand, right? Gaming for good, the shop, right, is going to be mainly the is going to be mainly the place where whales spend their, their uh, buy stuff. And uh, when you look at uh, even um, the revenue of mobile games, whales. Are literally 80 percent so like what you will have is whales will just go to gaming for good shop and will just spend 10k just like that or even more here like all boosts is 72k right that's literally two more than 200k for all the boosts 
And then what do you have? I think you also have one with all subscriptions. Let me see, where is that one? Let me see here. I think you also have one with all subscriptions. All subscriptions, 85K. So if you buy all subscriptions, right, you will literally, that's like, so you can buy 85 plus, that's 150K. That's 450K, $450,000. Man, if you do that, the buy wall will go fucking cray cray with the game. What would a super low spender buy even a battle pass? And that's it. Low spenders will just buy it. But man, I, I don't think we will have a lot of low spenders. You just get baited too hard. Yeah. Yeah, most of the revenue is through whales. No, 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 no. Most revenue is through whales. There's actually nice studies about it. There is certain games that are kept afloat by five whales. Don't know if you guys knew that. Literally, there's certain games where the entire coding development, five whales, like these kind of, there's a lot of shitty gacha games, right? Just a few whales pay the, 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 the salary of all the devs, the devs. It's just bananas. By the way, CEOs behind Raid removed the battle pass after one season because it made people spend less lul. It's because they're not, they're not, uh, they didn't implement it properly. If you implement it properly, it's a different story. Yeah, it's something like 0.1% of the players will pay 50% of the revenue. It's something crazy like that. Did Raid remove the battle pass? I would like to see that article. But how, what did they do in the battle pass? How did it work? Because Clash of Clans still has it. Let me actually quickly look if Clash of Clans still has it. Pretty sure Clash of Clans still has it. I'm, I'm booting it up here. I'm, I'm quite sure Clash of Clans still has uh, the battle pass. I know the battle pass increased the revenue of Clash of Clans by 70%. Fucking crazy. Yeah, they still have the battle pass. Get the golden pass. They still have it. Yeah. They still have it. But ours is just much better. Man, even our design is so much better than this trash. So how much did you spend on Raid Shadow Legends, Eld? You spent zero. Because you said you weren't going to play my game, right? Ah, oh, you will check it out. How long did you play Raid for? Because I, I, I like when, like, is there anyone here that played my game and other gachas? Anyone here? And how does they come, how do they compare? How does it compare? Monkey.
Eight, thoughts on eight ball pool. That game is really huge. I don't like it though. But is there anyone here that played Clash of Streamers and also another game? Like Idle Heroes or AFK Arena or whatever the fuck. Nobody here played both? That's crazy. So what do you guys think, people that play Clash of Streamers, is it, honestly, do you guys like it more, the same, less? What do you guys, like, honestly, without fanboying me or anything? Do you think being more aggressive and doing DPS would help more than hiding behind pillars? No, I need to hide behind pillars. I see. It's actually crazy that not so many people tried it with other games it's going to be really crazy to see how it goes because the wow scene is really not the best target audience for mobile games although i have to say that i like as crazy as it is i didn't even expect it do you guys know what the biggest uh like one of the biggest attractions of clash of streamers will be is for streamers while they're queuing and waiting. I really think it's gonna become the game people play while they're waiting, because you can hop in and hop out so quick. I'm, I really think it's going to be, uh, yeah, work really well. Yeah, they would just fucking sell some skins in between. Footman, I really think streamers will do it. Because you can literally play Clash of Streamers without an Elgato, copy the link, the OBS link to your PC, and you basically have, you know, you have your OBS setup, everything. You don't even need to have an Elgato or anything. The guy streamer with the biggest amount of money in BDO plays raid while he's waiting for stuff. What does that mean? It's a guy that plays BDO. Yeah, I know, I know BDO, but he just plays BDO and when he has to wait, he plays raid Shadow Legends. I see, I see. Man, I really think streamers will play Clash of Streamers. I really see Clash of Streamers blow up like crazy. It comes out. It will come out soon. Yeah. So how does he have the most money in BDO? He's like a big spender, a millionaire or something. Yeah, you guys won't get to after parties anymore from a thing. I mean, he's a really smart guy, what? Twitch drops. Um, I might do Twitch drops. I might do that, but I don't know. We will see. I have Twitch drops in the game for a theme. 
but for other streamers, I don't have it. The problem with Twitch drops is it's it's a bit. I don't know if it would work very well with our game. I thought about it because we have our own system where people get loot in the game. They can actually watch streamers and get Krypton. But yeah, we will see though. Initially, we will just launch with a theme, Church Drops. A team will you play Clash of Streamers on stream and aim for number one? No, I'm not going to aim for number one. That's unfair. So this guy that played BDO, he didn't spend a lot of money? That's crazy. And he's the most progressed player in BDO. That's fucking crazy. Biohack has no followers, two followers. Is that the name? How Biohack TV? Oh, the richest. Twenty six K followers. He's having very few views though. We do well with Ethereum, yeah, we do well. Yeah. Yeah. Teen Top Holy Pala girl is a girl. Have you seen her on Twitch? I heard, I heard about it. I heard about it. She played since 13. And she's 21, so that's eight years. Will you play with Asmon Gold and WoW? Maybe, maybe. I wouldn't mind playing with Asmon Gold for the Lulz. I still think getting 2.8k rank 1 after a week of PvP is more impressive than any other current rating. It's just bananas. Haven't played for more than 10 years, just come and start clapping. That's so insane. Not a lot of people realize it. How, 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 how crazy that is. Will using Productivity App give you benefits in CUS? Not really. Not really. That would be forcing people to do productivity stuff to get stuff in Clash of Streamers is shitty design. There will be some kind of... There will be very little... Uh, 
like what what you would have is you you will have one i think maybe one achievement for the productivity apps one achievement so yeah it's it's not going to give you a lot of benefits actually The game is coming out though. The game is coming out. I can tell you guys that. So yeah, get yourself that sweet ass purpose before it's too late. Try out the game if you want. People that want to apply, you can come over too. Here's the link. Someone can link the videos and the, 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 the exchange. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, actually later. It's already the next day, so. Keep it up, guys, and uh, yeah. Peace out.